What's up, Scorpio? Love forecast for you guys for what's coming in in the second half of November. That's November 15th through till the 30th. This is for my Scorpio sun, moon, rising and Venus and for the cross watchers. If you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give me a like and throw me a comment. And if you're new to my channel, I put these out every two weeks. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up with me as I do. Also, guys, I do offer personal readings and all the info for that is in the description box of the video. Happy birthday, Scorpio. We're still in your season and I hope that you are enjoying yourselves and um, having a great time. Okay, let's get started. Spirit, what's coming in, please, for my Scorpio, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus in the area of love, second half of November? Any love messages for my Scorpio, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, second half of November? What can you tell my Scorpio, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus is coming in for them in the area of love, second half of November? Okay. Death card. Well, that's you, Scorpio, showing up in your read. The High Priestess and the Ace of Cups. The Magician card and the Moon. Okay. Well, Scorpio, it is your season. So this is a season of transformation, Scorpio energy. So something is transforming for you here. We have the Ace of Cups. So you have a new love beginning. I feel like you are going through some kind of a transformation. That, so this is really, when I say the death card, this is endings for new beginnings. Um, I feel like you're tapped into your intuition and there's this sense of letting go of certain things or, or certain connections that aren't working for you. We have the moon card. Moon is all about the shadow, right? So you could be having some pretty profound realizations tapped into your intuition here about what needs to end for you to move forward for something quite new. The magician card means something is manifesting for you. Um, with the death card, it could be that you're saying goodbye to a cycle, to an old connection because you have something new presenting you're feeling that call like it's time to shed the old, okay? Let me have a look at the death card. What are we ending? The devil, exactly. Okay, so you, you, you're you coming to the end of a cycle, I think, Scorpio, where you are holding on potentially to a particular situation that you're realizing now was quite toxic. Um, it was unhealthy. It was an attachment. It wasn't wasn't serving you okay so you're setting yourself free we have the world card here and then the queen of wands and a three of cups brilliant so you're closing out an old cycle where you've been feeling trapped and bound and you're learning to take back control and power queen of wands she's very confident and she's very powerful um, and she moves towards what serves her okay the three of cups means that you're moving towards something that makes you very happy it's also my third party card. So Scorpio, you could have been in a situation where someone was keeping you in a third party um, scenario and you're finally deciding to end it and close it off. I also think for a lot of you, you are moving out of a situation that was unhealthy um, towards someone else, okay? Because you have an Ace of Cups here, so this is a new love beginning for you. And Three of Cups is, is you know, third parties. Um, tell me a bit about the High Priestess. You're tapped into your intuition and you're learning to stand your ground, okay? Scorpio, seven of wands. Um, and this five of swords and the four of pentacles. Yes, okay? So five of swords and the four of pentacles. Four of pentacles, that energy of holding on, okay? Um, with the seven of wands and the five of swords, I think that you, you know, you're standing your ground on a situation where there was a lot of conflict, um, but you've grown from conflict. Okay. Five of swords, it's a, it's a change card. It's a five card. Um, you're growing from some of the experiences that you've had and you're learning to stand your ground. I think whatever you've gone through, you're having these realizations now, Scorpio, that it's very much to do with your lessons, okay? Um, you've been holding on for some time to things that I feel were more sort of karmic for you you had to learn you had to learn to speak your truth stand your ground and not to hold on so tightly to things that are causing you so much conflict and also that the conflict often comes from holding on to something that's not healthy right so you've worn yourself out but now you're learning to stand your ground um or you're feeling intuitively like it's the time to do that and you're standing your ground by releasing something okay um that's not serving you and you're moving towards nine of cups so something that very much fulfills your wishes and someone that wants to be very generous towards you with the six of pentacles the tower card means that this is a big shift happening for you you have a tower and a death card so expect a huge transformation now moving into the second half of november for your birthday season um, 
I feel that, you know, Scorpio, you have a new connection that's presenting and it's very different to what you've had. Before, I think Scorpio, you were dealing with codependency. You might've been dealing with someone that had some addictions, toxic habits, six of pentacles. You know, that's an energy of um, breadcrumbing. You could have also, um, yeah, been giving a lot in a situation, getting not much in return. Now with a new connection coming in, you have learnt reciprocity. You've learnt that that's what you deserve. You deserve to have someone that's going to meet you halfway. And the tower means anything that's not working must go to make room for this. And you have someone coming in that wants to cooperate with you. Okay, Scorpio, Three of Pentacles. Some of you, you have a connection coming in. Um, it's someone that you work with or someone connected to your work network or, or your friend network. Um, you don't see it. If it's not already there, Scorpio, it's coming in and you don't see it coming. Okay, but it's so different to what you've had. Um, and you're having this intuitive um, call now to release yourself from things that burden you. It's because you're making room for this, if that makes sense. Justice card is about karmic lessons. So I think that that's what's happening. You're having a realization. This is also about truth. So tapping into your truth, which is very much again about Scorpio um, season is like tapping into the truth, getting to the heart of the matters. Um, and the truth is that what you deserve right and you deserve your wishes to be fulfilled you deserve someone that's going to give you um, reciprocity generosity etc so the justice card is also card about marriage and divorce for some of you that's a factor maybe you're breaking free from an old um, situation um, or otherwise like i said this is about fairness so you're going to a situation with someone that wants to cooperate meet you halfway equal give and take strong libra energy there we've also got strong Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy, Cancer, Pisces strong with the moon, Capricorn, um, Virgo, Gemini with the magician. Three of swords, you're cutting ties with what's not balanced, okay? It is hurting your heart, Scorpio, but in severing what's not working, as I said, you're bringing in something better, um, what you've been waiting for, three of wands. You've been waiting for too long for things to get better in another situation, and you're coming to this realization that, it was more something that had to teach you a lesson about self-worth, um, you know, and that perhaps it wasn't for you. So it's, it's difficult because I feel like it is hurting your heart to say goodbye to that, but you are realizing that you're, you've got to do what's right for you, okay? Um, tell me a little bit more about the new love coming in, the Ace of Cups. Tell me about the new love coming in. King of Wands, okay, so you have someone coming in um, they're taking passionate action towards you. This is someone that's very motivated to move towards you. Maybe you had someone that was not doing, not, not doing the work or, or not motivated, right? We have a king and queen of wands here. So this is someone that's actually your match. This is someone that's going to inspire you. Um, this is a very spiritual pair when I see the king and queen of wands. And it's, it's someone that matches you on a passion level, okay? Um, what else? Seven of cups. And we have the chariot. Okay, so this is a person, nine of swords. So if you're already connected to this person, this person has a bit of confusion about you. Maybe they think that you have other choices or options, um, you know, but I feel like this person's moving towards you anyway. You may be a bit confused, Scorpio, because you are still trying to process what you are closing out here. Um, but there is movement. I feel like you have someone advancing towards you. Um, chariot card and this is also a positive movement for you you have nine of swords so there is stress and anxiety for you i think this is about letting go of the old to allow yourself to move forward towards happiness as i said that towards happiness towards the star which is about your hopes and wishes fulfilled okay someone's seeing you as a hope and a wish if so if you're not already connected to this person that i'm talking about then this is coming in okay this is imminent ace of cups a new love beginning chariot card movement forward Okay, um, I'll get you guys some romance angels. Romance angels, please, for Scorpio for second half of November. Honeymoon, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Well, we are heading into holiday time for you guys in the US. It's sort of Thanksgiving. We're also moving into Christmas, etc. So also this is a person, you know, that might want to take you on a holiday. Chariot card is the card about holidays and trips, but you might also be having this sense of renewed love because that's how I see that honeymoon card, right? New love and renewed love. Um, unrequited love, as I said that. I think you're learning that there's unrequited love and a connection that you're letting go of. Okay, Scorpio, um, it's that feeling of, 
emotional rejection also sometimes I feel like you're setting yourself free from a situation where you feel like this person isn't giving you um, what you deserve okay codependency addictions are affecting your romantic life what did I say guys cutting yourself loose of codependency codependent um, situations um, addictions toxic people um, or person make the effort great love is worth taking the steps you've got to take you've got someone coming in that wants to make the effort they want to cooperate with you okay um, finances and career financial issues are a factor in your love life as I said maybe you're meeting this person through your work okay or you've met this person through your work or this is someone that you're going to work together with okay um, or otherwise some of you are just very focused on your your finances some of you, you may have financial ties with a particular person and that's why it's been very hard to let go um, of. But I feel like you are finding a way now to finally take back control and cut yourself um, free so that you can move forward onto happiness. Um, okay, Scorpio, well, I hope that that resonated for you. And if so, you can give me a like and a comment and I will check in with you guys in two weeks time. Lots of love.